on a budget. Today's video is a Cricut DIY. And I know that so many of you have come to my channel because of the couple Cricut videos that I do have. And so I decided that since my Cricut is absolutely by far one of my favorite crafting tools to use, and no, I am by no means sponsored or affiliated with Cricut, I just absolutely love my Cricut cutter because there are endless possibilities of crafting, gifting, you name it, ideas that you can do with that machine. And I absolutely love it. I even use it for sewing and quilting. And so if that doesn't tell you how versatile that machine is, it is amazing. And so like I said, it is by far my favorite crafting tool ever. And so I thought, why not? I'm gonna start doing some more Cricut DIYs for those of you who came to me for that reason. So in today's video, I am not only gonna be doing a Cricut DIY, but I am going to be showing you how to work with heat vinyl. And we will be making this here shirt. I was just about to make a couple more YouTube shirts when I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make this a video. So let's get to it and let me show you how to work with heat vinyl and how you use your Cricut to make t-shirts. Cricut Design Space has redone all of Design Space and they've added a lot of really neat features. They've moved things around and so I'm pretty happy with the new Cricut Design Space. I've got my project up. Just a quick tip, Design Space will assign different parts of your project a specific color. So in this case it is assigned a pale yellow, kind of a yellow, orange, and a red. To make it less confusing for myself, I like to change the colors to the colors that I'll be cutting that specific part of the project out in. So for instance, the KB here in KB Creations, I'm gonna be cutting that out in black vinyl. So I've highlighted it on my canvas, and over here in the sidebar, I have a lot of traffic going on, things that are on your canvas. You can tell what the highlighted part is in your sidebar here by the dark gray highlighted area. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna click on this yellow dot and you can see it was highlighted yellow here. I'm gonna click on the black. You can change all the colors that way if you'd like or an alternative is to highlight another area. You come over here to color sync up in the sidebar and click on the C and I'm gonna drag it up to the black. I'm gonna take and drag the R up here as well. And this C up there as well. And the U in YouTube, because I'll be cutting all of this out in black vinyl. I'm gonna keep the tube part of YouTube red because I'll be cutting that out in red. Now I'm ready to make it. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna click make it. And you can see here that my cutting mat is black as well, telling me that that is the color that I have designated for this part of the project. And I've got the red mat over here for the tube. When working with heat vinyl, you need to mirror image your project. Cricut Design Space now offers this option here before you cut. So we're just gonna simply click on mirror image And you can see here that it has now mirror imaged all of this. I'm gonna go down to the red mat and also mirror image that as well. You can see here along the side of the mat that there are measurements. This makes it so much easier in this new design space. So you can see exactly the size of vinyl that you're gonna need to cut for this project. I can see here that I'm gonna need a three and a half inch wide piece by about 11 and a half inches. Coming over to the red, I can see here that this is a much smaller piece. So I'm gonna need a one and a half inch piece by maybe two and a quarter will work for this. In working with vinyl, I tend to use the purple cutting mat for vinyl because the grip is the lightest grip that Cricut makes. Now taking my vinyl roll, I'm gonna take and measure out a three and a half by 12 inch piece of vinyl. When placing your heat vinyl on the mat, you've got a shiny side to your heat vinyl and you've got a dull matted side to your heat vinyl. We're gonna place the shiny side face down. 
It is now ready to be loaded into the Cricut for cutting. Now make sure and set your Cricut dial to the vinyl setting. So when it cuts, it's cutting for vinyl. Now we're ready to cut. So I'm just gonna simply click continue. It's gonna connect. I'm gonna load my mat and cut and I will meet you back here when it's done. My KB Creations is cut out. The Stinking Cute Productions is cut out. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off any excess vinyl around the wording. And I'm doing this because it's just gonna make it easier when you peel off the excess vinyl. And you can see here that the Cricut cut it out all out of order. So I'm gonna take and I am going to separate the pieces. I'm gonna start off with the KB part of KB Creations. This is the front of it. I'm gonna flip it to the back. Using my We Are Memory Keepers pointed tool, I'm gonna take and lift up the vinyl here where it's not cut, where there's no lettering, and I'm gonna start peeling back the excess vinyl. And this is what you should be left with. I'm gonna do this to the rest of my heat vinyl wording. I've taken all of the excess vinyl off of my wording. Now it's time to put this on our shirt. I like to get my t-shirts at one of two places. This t-shirt is a no boundaries t-shirt from Walmart. It was $2.87 and I like this one because it's a fitted women's t-shirt. The second place I like to get my t-shirts is from H&M. They have a great sale all the time where you can get two for $10. These real nice, stretchy material v-neck women's t-shirts. I absolutely love these. I love the way they fit. The quality is great and they hold up really well. H&M has a fantastic selection when it comes to color. Walmart has a very basic selection and so when I'm going to do a white and black gray red t-shirt i'll pick it up at walmart for 287. today we're going to be using the no boundaries t-shirt from walmart i've plugged my iron in and it is set to the highest temperature with no steam now i'm going to take and place my vinyl where i want it and i really do just eyeball this i do keep a ruler on hand sometimes just to make sure that it's straight from time to time but for the most part i eyeball my t-shirts I'm happy with where I've placed my lettering. Now I'm gonna take my iron. There is no need for a heat press. If you have one, perfect. An iron works just as well. And you're gonna take and just run this right over the top of the clear cover of your vinyl. It doesn't take much heat and it doesn't take very long. I'm gonna take and peel back the clear covering Now when doing your pieces separately like I'm doing, you wanna make sure that your iron does not go over the heat vinyl that you've already taken the clear cover off of because you will melt it. And so just like with any other graphic tee, you're gonna to wanna to iron it inside out if you're gonna iron your t-shirt. And there you have it, that's how I make my t-shirts. Pretty simple. Heat vinyl is an awesome way to personalize t-shirts. This is a fun, easy way to make your own shirts. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today on how to use heat vinyl using your Cricut. And make sure you stay tuned for my next Cricut video on how to weld letters together in Cricut Design Space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now.